It was in Eskasoni, the largest Mi'kmaq reserve in Nova Scotia. And sure enough, when I inquired, Patrick Marshall confirmed my suspicion. He wanted to show me a place on the hill where he and his sisters had seen something. It's called Wugaladimoj, the little people. I remember my grandmother, grandmother used to tell us stories about the little people and you know, when you're a little kid going into the woods, she would say, come back or they'll take you away. Something just came out of the woods, just behind over there. And you knew it wasn't an animal because it was standing on two legs. And it was about, about this high. And the way it ran down, it ran down with, uh, it, it, you knew it was real stocky. It ran down and more or less uh, hopping, more or less it was hopping. And then it just stopped right over there. And we were standing right here. And uh, what I seen was a little, a, a very tiny person. And, and the, the, you know, like I said, it was a person. I knew it wasn't an animal. Just the way it stood there, the way, the way it looked at us. All of a sudden, he jumped back into the woods. As soon as he just disappeared, the girl screamed. I yelled, and we started running back down. And that was about 15, 15 16 years ago. And I told the girls not to mention this to anybody, because it, it was, to me, it wasn't normal. And um, I think it was about five years after that we started talking about this. And, you know, people kind of thought that it was just a myth, but uh, I, I kind of believe different. <laughs>